Hello my ladies, good Monday and uh, of course is right now half day or about to be half day in uh, London and everywhere else in Europe where you guys are. Uh, it's morning here for me and I wanted to get back into the Monday little messages before going ahead and checking all your check-ins. A um, few things that I have to say is I've been back at work fully since last week, having some calls with you, uh, setting and um, setting new new goals for your own journey. And from these calls, what I have discovered is that although I love, 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 love to have that one-to-one -one call with you, sometimes the uh, topics that we have on the calls are very deep and it takes um, two hours of your time and uh, obviously two hours of my time, which is not the best use of neither my time or yours. So what I've been working behind the scenes is I used to um, run some education calls back in the days and I want to bring them back. Uh, I also want to bring back more connection into the Facebook group. I know that you guys, some of you have some uh, resistance into getting into the Facebook group, but I will be deleting the WhatsApp group. It's one of the things that I'm going to be doing um, because it just doesn't work for me anymore. I don't feel um, it is a way, it's, a, it's an effective way of communicating. Um, and I want to bring the community back to Facebook because I'm going to have some projects in which I will have also some group train so this facebook group is going to be um a kind of like way to um get more information answer all the common questions that all of you have because at the end of the day we are here on the same journey whether that is that you are working on body composition whether that is that you're working on wellness whether that is that you're working on pregnancy i might say that pregnancy is just a slightly different but in theory is the same with regards to training and exercising and there are loads of questions and a lot of daily habits that i can discuss and share with you ladies but I believe in the power of group uh, coaching and community because all that I have learned in my personal process with different coaches, uh, both in fitness and in my own business, have always been uh, on a group kind of setting. And the power about that is that most of the times you might have some questions that you might not be aware of that you need to to answer yourself those questions and only by listening to the other people's concerns and other people's struggles and how other people approach those struggles and take actions you can actually see yourself and then also find the motivation and the inspiration to do so so what i am suggesting to do is i will start kind of like a call with just q and a's um q and a's means like questions and answers um those of you who want to join the call are more than welcome to join the call i will set up myself a set of questions that i find repeating within the check-ins and the calls that i have done to you ladies and of course we will be having the call um whenever i feel fit uh, but then that call will be more action taking okay where are you at what is it what have we done this month what are the next steps and how we're going to implement it like this um it can be also more action orientated for you and then when it comes to actually wanting to learn it will be done totally up to you which i will suggest that if you cannot join the call then at least watch the recording i'm gonna be conscious of making it not too long because i understand that everyone is really busy but uh obviously this is your journey and if you want to take the knowledge and if you want to take the um the information that's what i'm creating it for you so i'm working all of that behind the scenes i'm going to be one more week here in the coast side um again i'm half a week full of calls and trying to also just make the most of my time in here um but i'm waking up in really early in the morning and this is the other topic that i wanted to say um which i realized that sometimes we might just underestimate the power of the change and uh, we might just be self-limiting ourselves in terms of like, oh, this hasn't worked for me, so I'm not going to try it again. So I'm just going to use this as an example. I, I suffered from insomnia about two, three years ago, and then I became really obsessed about having quality of sleep. I also was in a relationship, which means that I had to share um, the evening with someone and I used to go to bed really late. But Stella Yerdanidi, the normal Stella Yerdanidi, likes to go to bed early, wake up early, 
read in the morning, set up my intentions, do my journaling, and get my day, my day clear to start my day. And since I start doing that, so since I start going back to bed at 10, I wake up at 5, 7 hours of sleep, my sleep is on point. I have been super productive because I'm gaining 2 hours, 2-3 two, hours that I didn't have before, and those hours I use them as focus work. So what I wanted to say with this is that oftentimes when I talk with you ladies on the phone, you say, I might not have the time to do the steps or I might not have the time to do X, Y, and Z. And I am here to question what is the reason why you want to get this journey? Because if you know that the steps in the morning or if you know that the steps in general, or, or let's not call it steps, let's just call it a walk, intentional walk. And what I mean with intentional walk is that you know that you have to move. We cannot rely only on the sessions for you to achieve your goals. Remember that the sessions is to work on strength and build muscle and muscle gives you longevity of life because right now all of you are very young, but when you get older, the ability of the body to sustain muscle mass is going to decrease and then your, your longevity or your ability to live all the an elderly life that is going to be not so limited in the way that you can move freely like for example I have here my aunties and one of them is 64 and we do kayak, we cycle, we train every day, we walk every day. So that is the type of life that I want you to project yourself having. So more than focusing right now on aesthetics, we need to approach the strength sessions as this is the foundations of you guaranteeing yourself longevity of life. But on the other side, if we want to talk about wellness, we need to be conscious that every day, more and more and more, we move less. I mean, it's very few of you who have a job that keeps you active. Um, I will say one or two. Charlotte is one of them uh, because she cycles work and then she works in a school, so she has to actually be moving. But I know that since the COVID um, and since the nature of the job some days, most of you spend the time um, standing, sitting, or not intentionally walking. So my invitation to you is to kind of Start taking action, understanding how you're organizing your day, have a structure of your day, and give yourself the priority and give yourself the luxury of including some movement into your life because we're working in here for wellness, as I keep saying, for the overall well-being of yourself. The way that I use the walks in the morning, for example, I do have a lot of podcasts that I love listening. I have a lot of books that I love listening. And I have a lot of courses that I keep signing myself into because I like learning. So every time that I have a walk, I don't look at it as I have to go and do the steps. I look at it as I... Um, I want to learn something and I'm going to use this time, 20, 30 minutes time um, for me to learn something. And if you approach it this way, you will realize that on that walk, not only you will then open your mind to start your day in a much better way, you can also use the time to find something that inspires you, something that wants you to take action and change your day. And then slowly, slowly, we build the foundations of changing habits, which are going to be the key of us sustaining this lifestyle. So once again, I'm just showing my example on how I change in my life. Obviously, it wasn't a choice. It was a coincidence. But since then, I realized that actually, I want to connect to what Stella likes and I want to connect to what Stella would like to be like or, or the people that Stella always admires, which is people that wake up early, people that has a day that is organized, people that is productive. And I'm actually acting like them because the moment you start acting like the person you want to be, you start believing that you actually are that person and that can only lead you to become a better version of yourself. So I wanted to leave this little message. I also wanted to say that I will be getting back to your check-ins today. And um, and yes, have a lovely week. Those of you who are um, still recovering from COVID, please follow my advice. Take one day at a time, one week at a time. The body is fighting with an internal virus. Um, if your symptoms were not present, you still have to be conscious that the ability of your training is going to decrease. So I have been sending you all the messages to all of you. All I have to say is I invite you to have some more self-compassion and uh, approach one day at a time. Do the change that you want to see in your life. Start by adding that extra walk, 20 minutes walk, intentional walk. Start by drinking more water. And based on that, you will then want to continue with the different habits that I'm going to be talking about. Have a lovely week and see you later on the check-ins. Bye-bye.